How's it going, YouTube? We're back with some more Pokemon Ultra Moon based lock. Okay. <laughs> In the last episode, we uh we battled. What's her face again? Olivia, the Kahuna, the Vader. Didn't have to do a totem bat a battle though. I thought I I remembered Sunny Moon again. I know this is Ultra Moon, but still, I remember Gen Seven saying that you battled all totem Pokemon and then you battled the Kahuna or whatever. Or actually, no, I am remembering it right now. Like now that I'm like thinking about it, yeah, it, it's only the trials. The island trials that you do with the totem Pokemon, and then the grand trial, which is only the Kahuna battle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember it now. I remember it now. Okay, so yeah, I was wrong. But let's get this static encounter here. Or should I just come this as an encounter? Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be the encounter. Right. Not usually a very good Pokemon to pick up to. Uh... I don't know how to weaken you. Hmm. I really don't know how to weaken you. Well, I want to seek out for sure. Okay. And then simply just toss a great ball. It's a balloon just like you. So come with me. Basilio, I actually really like you as a Pokemon. You give me the solid. Give me the ball. There's a lot of damage in there, buddy. Again, though. Solid. I didn't want to throw a heal ball, but epic. A useless heal ball. I was gonna say, but if you stayed in, I was gonna be pissed. <laughs> Stop! Oh my! Manta! How does Ice Ball work? Is it like the more it uses the move, the more damage it's gonna be doing? It, like, it's something like that, right? Obviously, because that's just way too much damage. And it's gotta be something like, I thought it was like, at first I thought it was with... Like, wait. <laughs> I go do damage for five turns. Oh, the, oh! So you're the equivalent to rollout. How many times have you used Ice Ball already? How many times has he used Ice Ball? He used it, did nothing. He used it. He used it, it did nothing. He used it. It crit. And then he just used it. So the next one could kill anyone. That's yeah, scary. Uh, may have no choice but to heal. And hope that he misses. Like that's literally what I need. I need to miss. Was that already the fifth? So that was already the fifth. Okay. Well. Um. I mean, pursuit he'll live, right? He'll live a pursuit. He'll live a pursuit. Yeah. Getting him again with the pursuit. Brian is a little scary though. Um, 
Let's go. Water works especially when catching Pokemon that are that live underwater. So this thing lives underwater. That was scary. <laughs> that was scary. I'm gonna call you. Ugh. Ugh. Ugmo. 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 Who do I switch out? I do already have an ice type though. It's just that I want some more. I don't know, like. Because I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I need a more balanced team, I think. I don't know, I just have two dragon types. I have Quard, who's just the solid, like, you know, all arounder, I guess. I got Dumbo, who's defensive. I have a special attacking, kind of like just a debuffer. And I have this thing. This thing still hasn't become what I wanted it to be. <sighs> no, it's fine. Send the box. Got a solid ice encounter though. I'm kind of curious what else I could have gotten though, so I'm gonna check real quick. Oh, thank the Lord. That would have been pissed. Because that would have been deuce, I think. I think? Or no? No, no, it wouldn't have been deuce. I don't think so. I'm a positive. I'm a. But still. I'm glad I didn't get it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I'm glad I didn't get it. But is that it? Like, yeah, I think that's it. Is it? I was like, maybe I can kind of like sweep up. Like, or go further out? And get an encounter? <laughs> nope, it hasn't changed. Species. But it's fine. Look out. I just want to cook the sea, man! I like seeing things. Yo, can I get that or can I fish that out? How does that work? I'm seeing a Pokemon. Charger Nidor. Charger Nidor. Oh, oh shit. I didn't know he wanted battle. I thought you were just swimming. You know what, I mean, I don't see why anyone would want to do a Pokemon battle while swimming in the water. But, sure. With your hack service and all. Nam at the altar. That's that bitch. <laughs> That's that bitch. Diago and five levels above you. Fuck out of here. Fucking loser. Alright. So do I fish for this? Oh no, I don't. I just go on up and grab it. Can I like okay, one second. Can I like boost, bro? Jesus. Oh no, I don't want that. So is that really it? Oh that sucks. I think that really is it. I think I'm already over here at the end. I just thought maybe the water, I would have been able to get you know, some more shit or whatever. Uh, whatever, that's fine then. Let's get the fuck out of here then. What? Oh. What? Yo, I thought that was just shiny. You're looking a little too green. It's usually more blue. But it's not a shiny, it's even sparkle. But that's weird. Because it looks like. Like it'd be a shiny. Man, that was a shiny and I missed out on it. Oh, yes. It's better. Oh. Hold on, let me just get the Pokeball, dude! Shoopet! Shoopet, stop! I have an episode to do and I'm like wasting time. 
No, I don't want to battle you. You don't. You run away. Get the item here, bro. Thank you. Per cash right there, bro. So I'm not wasting time. I'm getting cash for my healing items. Cause I, I I know I need cash. You all know I need cash. I have nothing. <laughs> right, let's get the full. Ooh, sticker. So can I do it? Can I go do it again? Can I? Oh, was it 20? I don't remember if you wanted 20 or 15. Um, I just kind of want to quickly fly over and just quickly check that out. So that's what I'm going to do. Don't remember exactly where it was at, though. I think it was here. I think it was here, here, city. But no, no, he was over here. He's over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we the left. Is he still there? Okay. You bitch! I hope we see you again. So you've collected hunting down is quite the task, isn't it? The captain's trying to work hard. <sighs> I thought he would have been like cool and been like, oh okay, here you go, man. You got, you know, 30 now. Good shit. But I think it's, like, done, like, completely. Because, I mean, shouldn't he have said something along the lines of, like, okay, well, you know, now just collect 10 more or whatever the fuck. And then I'll give you another totem Pokemon or something, right? Or, I don't know. Let's do it again. So you've come at last. Oh, but forgive me. I have to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you some place outstanding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in, in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with the Tower of Aether Paradise. Will you come? You will come, won't you? Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Why the fuck would you go, bro? You did jack shit. I'm being rewarded. You did jack shit. Step off and go do your stupid little shits. Hey, Kahuna, Olivia. Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any. I've never even gotten married. <laughs> Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest allies, the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming to a professor? Why the fuck is this guy going? Why the fuck is he going? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether is developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Melee Garden. Yep, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean, say, the ferry. Dude, why the fuck? I'm, I'm actually, I'm genuinely pissed off. Can you believe a big hug of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Danny? Shut up. I knew that. Yeah, you fuck. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of here. No one likes you. Oh, I thought I finally had, had one up on you. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside. Why are you going? Why are you, why is he going? What is this? Shit, dude. What is this bullshit? Because I would not have gone to Aether Paradise if I didn't, you know, help him out with the little favor that he had me help him out with. Of beating a trainer. I think it was Team Skull or whatever the fuck it might have been. But I did something. How wasn't there? Unless, I, unless I'm misremembering. But I'm pretty sure I did it by myself. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Who is, like, what is up with my phone? Mm. Alright. Cool. So, 
Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Any paradise? Oh, either way, AJ, if you want to cut that out, that's fine too. If you don't, that's fine too. <laughs> sorry, though. Sorry, people. Sorry. Ender Paradise is a facility created for the con conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team works on the our team worked our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. <laughs> so does that mean I'm not sure. Like, shouldn't that mean we couldn't do Pokemon battles then? Because it's gonna prevent them from functioning. Un I guess unless he means, I guess, right? They only targeting the capturing feature of a Pokeball, not the releasing of a Pokemon that's already been caught. I guess whatever. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Y yes, uh, Branch Chief Faba. Now, I must go speak with the president about our conversation efforts on Akala. Show these children around, and then take them to meet the president as well. <laughs> oh, you're a fucking smug bastard. She obviously has something important to tell you. Phew. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Danny and Hal. My name is Wick. Wick? Okay? Wick. I think it's just Wick. Nice to meet you. Wait! You know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me all about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course I heard about how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Hop. So we did. Thank you very much. So we did? I was wrong? Was I wrong? Am I really misremembering that? Now I feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> now I feel like a piece of shit. I'm gonna check this. I wanna check. Give me a sec. AJ, you can't cut this out. I'm gonna check this shit. That fucker was not there. He was not there helping Mr. Faba. I was. Never mind, I retract my statement. I don't feel bad. Oh, don't feel like an asshole. This guy sucks. How sucks. Let me show you around. The main entrance is above us. Is up above us. Hey, here's the button. Sorry, she went too fast. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk if you need it. Danny, you and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. How'd you know? So we're 11 in this game? Gosh, my he's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday, I really want to be able to beat my Grumps. But he's way too strong. So for now, I'll just enjoy my island chat. That's so insane that we're 11 years old. I was thinking more like at least 13. How? How lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get about your age. No. What? No. Why not? Well, I guess. I guess so. Maybe. But then we quickly realize we can't be on our fucking own. No, you're hardly just children anymore. No, they're still children. Definitely still children. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Danny, how? Would you like to see the con the conservation area upstairs? I don't know why I, I, that one time I thought it'd be weird to read. <sighs> there it is. <laughs> I'm about to say, bro. For, Pokemon. for this reason, the use of Pokemon is strictly forbidden. The Pokemon have been targeted by teams called here. We must try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Horsel, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by, by Pokemon called Mer Merini. 
might be don't mind if I read a passage from my old Pokedex. I traveled through Kanto before when I was in, when I was younger, you see. Corsola and Lorola were their natural enemies, Marini, are plentiful. Many Corsola have stubby branches on their heads. <laughs> yeah, Megrams is always saying that nature's got its cruel side. Sure, sure as it gives us blessings. But the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon there that are out there or something. I don't know what I said. Nature does have its own balances, of course. It can be difficult to judge how much humans should try to affect that, can it? That's pretty amazing, the interpretation seems awesome. But why do you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I can say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet the president, Lus Lusamine, she she should be here in the cons conservation area now. Like, why can't I, why is it struggle why is it a struggle to say the word now? <laughs> what a tw oh, okay. I was looking down on the map, and I was like, well, that's nothing, and then I went down to see nothing. Alright, Grimer. Take me around to the... Wow, directly to her. Cool. <laughs> my sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. You must be Daddy and Al. Welcome to Aether Paradise. The Aether Par the Aether Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the foundation. But oh, please just call me Lucidine. I'm so glad we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel to islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. That is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all these poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alolan region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss. <clears throat> wow, Mr. Samin. I don't know you. I don't know how you do all this. You're like not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. Y you are? Wait, wait, what? Oh, you. The white style does wonders, you know. And how? Your style is a bit wanting. It's a bit wanting. Hmm. I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. Like, like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look. Except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children. We'd all be much happier. If they'd listen to the two adults around them. Yeah, she PS. She heard a little and she's like, yeah, fucking little brat. That tremor. Did something happen to the lower floors? What's going on? Can we attempt to catch this? That is my big question. I don't think we can. Which kind of sucks. Because I would love to catch whatever this is. You are. Have you come from a distant world? Man, 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 money, money. Miss, listen to me. Stand back. That thing's not right. Bro, you're 11 years old. That's the other thing that's like weird about the Pokemon World. My guy, you're 11 years old. This bitch is 40 years old. She's a full grown adult. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> you poor creature. And then this motherfucker's just like, bro, what are you doing, dog? <sighs> I remember when I was 11 years old, dude. I was scared of everything, bro. Like, Venmo me. Alright, Legendary versus Legendary, let's do this. <laughs> Can I catch it? Oh no, because it doesn't, you can't do po- Why? 
Um, it is part flying. Ha! <laughs> Body detect it. And you have black at the very bro. Like you already, you lose, you're dead. That was the easiest battle. Ever. Oh, the crit too. Wow. Mind you, I'm so pissed that we can't even catch it. That's fucking awesome, bro. Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, sorry. So it's true. I, was, I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. Miss Lucimine, are you okay? Why so shocked? Was it your first time seeing an Ultra Beast? Those mysterious creatures that live beyond the Ultra Wormholes? The holes that suddenly open in the sky and lead to Ultra Space? Oh, the faces look so weird without the <laughs> without the fucking visor shit. Uh, open in the sky that led to Ultra Space. It would serve you well to remember this. Who the? Seriously, what's with that get up? These are my guests, the Ultra Recon Squad. They have been giving, they have been giving the Foundation advice about Ultra Beasts. Why don't you introduce, introduce yourselves? So we meet again, trial goer. The Ultra Recon Squad is, well, as the name says, it is a group that investigates Ultra Wormholes and Ultra Beasts. This is Captain Pico, and I am Solaria. Our world is wrapped in darkness, though it also shone with light once long ago. There is a creature known as Necrozma. It is able to bestow light upon others, but now it runs wild beyond reason. We call it the Blinding One, out of respect, but I fear that one day may come when Alola loses its light to Necrozma. But everything will be fine if this Necrozma, or even an Ultra Beast like the one we just saw, should come to visit this world from another, the Aether Foundation will be prepared to protect the light of Alora. Rest easy. You will not need to worry about a thing. Well then. Wiki, these two children still are in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please let them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I will need to speak to Mr. Fava about exactly what happened downstairs. It may be that our experiments to open an Ultra Wormhole are not going as well as we'd hoped. I'll see you two to the Willow Island then. Okay, sure. Up we go. All right. And I'll end it off here already because we're already getting it in 31 minutes. I'll turn it off here. I'll start the next episode right here as well. And we'll just continue with it. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe to join the Beast Nation. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.